I'm standing on a cubic yard of concrete. It weighs two tons and it was made specially for us. It's about as tough as you can get it. You can put as much as 6,000 pounds weight per square inch on it before it will crack and uh, that's the sort of concrete that is used for building runways at airports. But if you build with material like this, uh, you run the risk of having to tear it down sometime and that can be quite a problem. It is at that point that a piece of equipment like this comes in. Now you may think that that's a, a conventional rock drill. It's nothing of the kind. Watch this. I lower it into a pre-drilled hole, which only took about a minute to run down to that depth in this type of concrete. All I do now is to turn this tap like that. Now this is a rock splitter capable of, of splitting things like this quickly and easily without explosive, without getting a lot of dust into your life and without the uh, risk attendant upon explosions though when you're messing about with two tons of concrete there is always a certain attendant risk as you saw then. I'm now taking the pressure back off the tool and with a bit of luck I'll be able to withdraw it without collapsing the whole issue. There we go. Come on out my beauty. I'll pull it out that way and now we'll be able to see how that rather startling miracle was achieved. Whoa! These two uh, hoses here are connected to an hydraulic pump working outside. In fact, they are delivering no less than 7,100 pounds to the square inch, which accounts for the amount of force which was displayed there. But in fact, the tool itself is quite simple and it embodies a very well-known principle, that of using an enormous hydraulic force in a very short stroke to create these immense energies. The oil under pressure is fed to two cylinders here. Now when I turn the tap on, watch what happens in the tool. You see there's a wedge in the center there, yes you can see that all right, which is driving forward between two counter wedges on either side and that effectively is expanding this whole chisel if you like and it is this expansion which splits the block and in fact this is now exerting a force of 260 tons outwards and that is this uh, immense splitting force. I talked about the high pressure here, 7,000 pounds to the square inch. Uh, in fact, that's not nearly as dangerous as it sounds because this is only a quarter inch bore and of course there's virtually no flow so even if this did pop off uh, it, it wouldn't present you with a lethal hazard. Now as you can see I'm withdrawing the central wedge so that the chisel is returning to its minimum size. I think perhaps chisel is not quite the right word uh, because it's a splitting wedge after all. Now we'll have another crack. The sideways force is exerted at right angles to the handle so now we'll see get the hose out of the way to make sure it doesn't pinch. What happens this time? I select forward. Now once again this wedge is driving into the pre-drilled hole and you can hear the concrete cracking. Can you hear that? Really quite uncanny. And I'm looking for the first sign of a hair crack to appear. There it comes now, look running in three directions, there, there, and vertically downwards. Gradually lifting that enormous weight and so quiet it's almost sinister. Now if I uh, retract the central wedge to reduce the size of the probe, I will then be able to withdraw it and by popping it into the other hole Perhaps because the weight of the concrete now has now settled down onto it. I told you it weighed 70 pounds, which of course is not all that heavy for this type of equipment. 
and certainly not heavy in relation to the amount of energy which it can produce. And there we go. This should now disintegrate this piece of concrete pretty totally. I think perhaps the most significant thing of all about this machine is that with it, one man can split as much concrete or rock as four men in a day using conventional equipment. And in fact, as we have seen, it would seem to me that there isn't a concrete building in the world which I couldn't destroy single-handed using one of these.